Welcome to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, where we're talking about everything Arkansas Razorback football and basketball every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. I know it's Tuesday when you're watching this, but forgive a brother. You know how everything was going on in Arkansas this week or yesterday. No lights, electricity down, storms everywhere. So we got a little delay. So bear with us. But before we get into this next video, you know what's next, right? The wood right here. Welcome again to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, where we're talking about everything Arkansas Razorback football and basketball every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. You know who I am. I am Oliver, your host, and I got my boy back in the building, and you know who it is. What up, baby? You got your boy G Holmes in the building. You know what they call me. Your boy, Sexy Big. Big sexy, it don't <laughs> oh, matter. Oh my god! <laughs> what it do, OD? Hey man, hey, it feel it's good to see you again, man. I feel like I ain't saw you in a while, man. It's been a, it's been a minute, bro. <laughs> man, I talk to this dude every day. I mean, I am feeling some type of way. And I miss you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm, I've been down in Jamaica, man. I'm, you know, hey, I've been down there kicking it with Bob Marley's. Hey man. So did anybody you know. send you a drink? Hey, sh did shout nobody. out to my to my bros, my boy Fred Douglas Stewart. Shout out to you, bro. We appreciate you supporting your boy drinking my new drinking habit. And shout out to my <laughs> boy, uh, the paper player. <laughs> they shot me out. They bought me a drink, baby. Appreciate y'all, man. About, man. <laughs> Appreciate you showing yeah, me some got, love, man. Show us man some you got to give homage to the boys, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All the rest of y'all, man. Hey, I'm disappointed in you, man. I'm disappointed in you. Let it's my boy D out there dry it up. <laughs> hey, man. That's we, what's up, bro. I'm glad you had a good time, man. Made yeah. it back safe, man. Hey, Life been so, happening around here. You, man, when I left, it wasn't nothing going on. I leave, bro. and it's all kind of Razorback news. I'm like, I can't do nothing. I'm down bro. here with bad internet. I can't do nothing. Actually, the, the resort had had cool internet, but mm. I can't be towing these big old equipment through customs. And they like, yo, why you got this big old? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to deal with this, man. Yeah, your, your skin too dark to be having too much luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and they, they got my wife, got all her stuff. Got oh, they did customs? Well, no, no, they... Uh, so when you get off uh, the plane back in the States, you got to get all your bags, and then you got to recheck yeah. them. Man, we rechecked our bags in, in Florida. We get back we get back home. She missing a bag with all her, like, all her, her things that she valued. All. She didn't, the, the bag is just missing. So, you know. What? Yeah, like everything I bought her for the anniversary was in that bag. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So well, you, I, I, I was finna say, man, you know how folks is, man. You can't trust nobody these days. Hey, man, folks is roguish, man. This is the bottom line, man. <laughs> That's it's all good. It's just stuff. It'll be replaced. We made it back home safely. That's all that matters, Say less. Man. Say less. Uh, but man, while I was there, I'm sitting there watching the NBA draft, and we we had three hogs drafted uh, in the 2023 NBA draft. Um, the boy Anthony Black, uh, Nick Smith Jr., and Jordan Walsh. And I, I see the number six pick, Orlando Magic, and they take the boy A.B., man. They take Anthony Black, Woo! 
number six to run the show number down eight. in Orlando, man. Hey, I'm man. happy. I'm happy for Anthony Black, dog. Say less. Yeah, yeah. What you yeah. think about the pick, though, man? For for the I, Orlando bro, Magic. Hey, man. I I'm happy about it because first off, we know he gonna be on the floor for show. This yeah. ain't no. We finna develop you. We're going to see what you do in the summer league. If I was him, I wouldn't even play in the summer league. I ain't playing. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, I'm the number six draft pick, bro. I got to give my jersey. Let's go. We finna do some workouts because he going to have to get up to speed. If they really trying to change up that culture down there in Orlando because they trash. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he going to be on the floor immediately. I think the the most I looked at their lineup. Now, granted, I don't watch Orlando Magic basketball. Me, either. but it, it showed me that Cole Anthony was the one that started the most. And I'm like, Cole Anthony, he's still in the league. He he yeah. won back when LeBron was with Miami. I didn't even mm-hmm. I didn't even know dude was still in the league. And I'm like, he's yeah. a starting point guard. And uh, mm-hmm. and I'm looking at that. And I'm like, oh, Anthony Black got a he he starting day one. Day yeah. one, he he on the court. He may not start, but bro, <laughs> he gonna start before the end of the year. Uh huh. Because you know they last year they got that boy Paolo. You know he he was nice. You know what I'm saying? The dude uh, care uh, from, from Duke. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. He won the rookie of the year last year. Uh huh. Yeah. So they got yeah. him, but they just had they they don't got enough pieces around him. Right. So you know they building something. So that's I mean you gotta. I mean, it's a rebuild for them. So right, this absolutely. year, I think ne- next year they're gonna probably have a couple more picks. But AB and Paolo in that backcourt, that's gonna be some big because both of them big dudes. And you know, he would gave he gave us the business when we played them. I was <laughs> like, man, they can't stop this dude for nothing. I kept wanting to say he was trash, but I couldn't. I got, every time I was like, man, stop that dude. He was gonna either hit the J on you, or he was yeah. big enough, you know, to go down low. So. Hey man, I think him and AB, they I I think they're gonna have something, man. But hey, he's gonna get some PT guaranteed. No, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And as far as the player that they're getting, man, they getting a great on ball defender, uh, yep. an unselfish player mm-hmm. that has tremendous upside. Because we the, the knock on AB when we sat there and watched him every game was. He he didn't use his size well against smaller players. Nope. He you six seven, and you man take that six two guard on the block and punish that boy. Yeah. So he got he got so much untapped potential. If you can teach Absolutely. him how to how to post, man. Yeah. Hey, and he got to tighten up them handles because he got he got his cookies took a couple times. Yep. But a a b man, I'm I'm super happy for him because I think he got tremendous upside. I think dude gonna ball out. Um, I do too. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna be I, great, man. I can't wait to watch him. I'm I'm watching Orlando Magic uh, basketball this year. I I gotta watch yeah. my boy a b man. I think one of the things that I always like we always talked about when we watched them play is very seldom, if ever, did he ever play with his back toward the basket. Nah, never. Never. You, yeah. I mean, he never played with his back toward the basket because he was a, I mean, he was a kind of a ball dominant player too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He had to, in order to create his shot, he never really took the pass. He either delivered the pass or he just created his shot. Right. So he never had to position himself to to be able to get a bucket down low when he had the clear advantage. So I think but that is a, that's something that they develop in the league. Because even though he wasn't that type of player in college, hey man, you six seven, I need you to go down here and you know yeah. develop a post game. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for him. Mm-hmm. You Got to find other ways to get get a bucket, man. Because you see, when when the playoffs start, it ain't all about shooting threes. Hey, them boys no. down there, they down there banging, they keying in on you. So yeah, man, I, I right. think I think Anthony Black. Hey, salute to you, dog. I can't yes, wait sir. to see you play. Appreciate hey. you being a Razorback, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Home, Woo Pig. 
Hey, you always going to be able to come home, baby. Always. Uh, now, second pick, number 27, went to the Charlotte Hornets, Nick Smith Jr. I, I, I sat there, man. I was watching Nick Smith, man, and I'm like, is it tears of joy? Is it tears of relief? Which one is it? Which I think one? it's a little bit of both. I think that was it was a little bit of both because you talking about a cat preseason was top five projection. Remember, mm-hmm. he was he. I mean, he was one of the ones that they were saying, "Are he is he going to go straight to the G and just bypass college because his stock was so high at the time." And he went from a top five, you know, prospect, prospect to almost falling out of the out of the lottery. Right. 20, 27. And it won but one more pick because two teams didn't even have a pick in the first round. So there were only actually 28 picks. So he was okay. next to the last last pick. Because I think Philadelphia, Philadelphia didn't have a pick. And one other team didn't even get a pick because they had traded it off previously in a trade hmm. so there wasn't even 30 picks so it was it was like only, it was only 28 so he was next to dead last in the first round man you sure about that if you trade a pick I'm positive. you still Bro, should Philadelphia. be able to get you don't get a pick at uh, philadelphia that's why they got uh ricky council okay look it up because they didn't uh they did not have a pick uh this year but if they traded the pick to somebody somebody would have been able to choose to pick you know what i'm saying not for but no i mean it depends on what you do with it you know what i'm saying if you may just trade that pick completely not just not just swap the position they gave it away for for somebody else i don't remember but i mean i just read that just just read just now i read that about uh about them and matter of fact oh they lost the pick okay so there were violations there were only 58 picks due to tampering violations by Mm. the bulls in the heat so all 30 teams in the nba participate but two teams lost their pick and it was the Bulls and the Heat. So that's the reason why it was only 28 picks. And Philly so, didn't have one. I, Philly may, they may have traded some, theirs off to somebody else. Yeah. So okay. All right. So I okay, I see what you're saying. I I get it now. I, I didn't pay that any attention. I was just like, but anyway, that's back to Mitch Smith. Next yeah, to last. That's what I'm saying. He he's next to last. He was almost <laughs> Mr. Irrelevant in the first round. So those were tears of joy because if he would have missed that one, he sure wasn't going to that last team. It wasn't you know no guarantee in, in the second round. Ain't no guarantee money. Ain't no guarantee money. So I say those were tears of like, oh Lord, I almost fell out. Mm. So, well, we can look at this. In a, I'm gonna look. I'm, I'm gonna take the positive route on Nick Smith this time. The good thing about his situation is. He gets to come in to Charlotte with no with expectation, but not as high expectations because he's not their real number one pick. They got Brandon Miller Miller, as their uh number one guy in this draft. So they're going to be looking for him to ball out. So if Nick Smith come in and do what everyone thinks that he can do, Mm. he's in a great position. They stole yeah. a pick. Yeah, so they stole a pick. That's a good thing for Nick Smith. Now, everybody He's gonna have to earn that contract though. Yeah. I mean, he, he guaranteed at least four years in the league. He's gonna make a couple couple meal. You know, after taxes, yeah. he got a, he got a meal, 1.1, 1.2, whatever. So I hope he don't blow his money. Because if anybody has paid attention to the Woo Pig podcast, y'all know how we feel about Nick Smith Jr. So, yeah. we don't know what Nick Smith is going to become. We do know our, we our watch homie it. Kingy Bingy thinks the world of Nick Smith Jr. I don't know why. But f- for us, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I only thing I can say 
is I will be rooting for Nick Smith just because he's a hog. That's that's right. That's it. And your hometown boy, I got. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm loyal, but mm, you better show me something too, because I'm gonna be. You like, got to. Yeah. You got to show me. You know, because his his body of work on the hill was. Hey man, boo 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 boy, it was it was. Oh my God, that trap. <laughs> <laughs> it was trash, man. It was trash, man. I ain't, yeah. it ain't no other way to put it. Uh, but I hope Nick Smith does his thing and uh, mm-hmm. see what he do. See what he do. Um, now the, the the last guy, second round, the number thirty eight pick, eight thirty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty eight pick Jordan Walsh, man. Um. Picked up by the Boston Celtics. Yep. Uh, what you think about that pick, bro? I think he's in a good situation. I say that because Boston is is really going through a mini teardown. They already traded smart, so they moving some pieces around. I saw that. And so they're trying to change that culture because whatever it is, it ain't getting it done. So two years in a row, you I mean, you got kind of close. You know what I'm saying? But you just weren't able to get over that hump. So right. he, he he's in a position to – he need to play in the summer league. Absolutely. Most definitely. Absolutely. He, he needs to play in the summer league and really hone in his NBA skills because this is – he really trying to earn a, 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 a roster spot. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to mm-hmm. earn him a roster spot through this summer. And that's possible with them moving those pieces. And they're not through yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to mm-hmm. be a good summer for, uh, you know, in the league, really, because there's a lot of teams that are, you know, moving a lot of pieces. So for Jordan, man, just just get on, just get on, uh, you know, get, get on your skills, man. You need to just work on that jump or work on those handles. His defense is going to – I mean, he like to play defense, so that's a good thing. But I think he can earn a spot, bro. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with that, man. And, uh, as a defender and who's 6'7 with a 7'2 wingspan, there's a place for you on the NBA roster. Because – It is. He he can – and I've seen some some work that he's been doing in the offseason, man – he been he been shooting that jumper. He been he been definitely working on his craft. And as a D and three guy, that's all that's all Jordan Walsh can gonna be in the NBA. Who's let's, Bowen? Let's keep, <laughs> who's Bowen? Let's keep it up. Let's keep it above. That's all he gonna be in the NBA. But there's a place for you, dog. If you yeah. D up, if you D up anybody, and and that six seven with them long arms, he can D up just about anybody. There's gonna be a spot for him in, on any team. So, because defense win championships, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. So, I'm I'm happy for Jordan Walsh. I hope he does good. Salute to you, dog. Uh, I watch you play. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch you uh, ride the bench and, and talk about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna on, watch man. you ride the bench. Up. Nah, we ain't gonna start about. We gonna get that boy to bed. <laughs> you talk about uh, muscleman who held you back. Bro, you better you better show out in the summer league. I need you to be scoring 30 points a game in the summer league. I don't want to see you with no three, four, five, six, seven points in the box. Hey, bro, kill yourself. I don't want to hear that no more. <laughs> you better show out, bro. You better show out because the Woo Pig podcast is going to give you the business. We're going to give you the business. We ain't going to let you slide out there throwing shade on us. But anyway, we we not going we going to let you we going to let you ride. We happy for you. But you better show out because you you to put your foot in your mouth. So you gotta you got to stand on what you said. You said muscles holding you back. Now we're gonna see what they're gonna do in the NBA. Now I want to hear the talk about you gotta learn to get gotta learn the system, man. Kid yourself. Play ball. <laughs> Play some ball. But the biggest surprise to me, man, is is Ricky Council, bro. Man, it, that it, it hurt. hurt my heart, man. To see him go undrafted. Yeah. Undrafted. 
that hurt me. Yeah. And the, and the reason I say that is because I love Pretty Ricky, man. He he play hard and he's a I mean, he a walking bucket. But the only thing and we talked about this all year long is that jumper. Yeah. And you got to be able to not hesitate on the open shot and you have to make it. And he, I mean, he was pretty decent at it, but you know, I mean, at the wide open jumpers, and we're not talking about just three pointers. We're talking about like even the mid range, you know, jumpers. He he was just he got a little hitch in his in his jumper, yeah. and sometimes it's it's kind of hard to control. So I hope that I mean that's something, you know. Th- there's a lot of shooting coaches, whole bunch of shooting coaches that can, you know, really get your jumper more fluid. So. I hope he's working on that because he can get a spot. I, I think on this uh, uh, Philadelphia 76ers team. Yeah, that, they're a team with not a whole lot of talent, man. Uh, well, I say that they still they still got James Harden and they still got bigger beats. Tears. Yeah, uh, I forgot the little Maxi. They need to get rid of the that. Uh, yeah, they need to get rid of the other dude, the light skinned cat uh, who just. Signed that max deal and ain't doing nothing. I can't think of his name right now. You talking about, you talking about Tobias? Man, that boy trash, man. Yeah, Tobias, Tobias Harris. That boy just out there just thirty-seven, uh, thirty-seven point six milli a year. The contract. That's the contract he signed, bro. Boy, but I bet I they bet got the NBA team. They was more like football. They just man, we gonna cut you. Yeah, we don't want you no more. You know what? We changed cut him with the We changed our <laughs> We changed our mind. <laughs> yeah. We quit. They, 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 right, they picked, you know, they picked up uh Matt McClung too. And did you they? know, I always like yeah, they did. They picked right, up Matt was, McClung. I think he started in Philly. And then they just he mm-hmm. just kind of like bounced around. Yeah. But yeah. I just think he's for show. He ain't never gonna do nothing in the league. You know, that's just my take on Matt McClung. He just uh, but I'm, I, good for Duncan. Yeah, yeah, good for Duncan. What, they got now, a, they got another the, what? I was gonna ask another question about uh, Pretty Ricky, man. What you think you Pretty say? Ricky got to do to to stick in the league, man? Because it's some cats in the, that that didn't go, that didn't get drafted. Uh, Fred Van Vliet or uh, old boy that played for the Lakers. Uh, I can't think of the guy's name. White guy from that three point shooter guy. Uh, I can't think of his oh, name. Yeah. The, those Arkansas. are guys that didn't get undrafted, but they that that went undrafted, but they found a spot. Uh, what do you think, Pretty Ricky, got to do to get in the league and stay in the league? He gonna have to work hard and, and just get it out the mud and no days off. That's, I mean, that's that's the only thing. I mean, we just talked about his jumper because you can't tell him to be more athletic. Because no. I mean, I, 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 he's probably one of the most athletic people in that in the uh, draft. Okay, I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I, I mean, I watched him play every game. Yeah. So you can't. It's not his athleticism. I really wouldn't say it's his basketball IQ because I've seen him make really good plays, you know, high IQ plays and passes. So I really wouldn't say that. The only thing is his consistent jumper. Yeah. That's what I see, you know, and I watched him play every game. I didn't see him at Wichita State, but he was better here than he was there. So that's what I saw. I agree. I think – only thing that that's missing in his game is a consistent jumper because he can get his own shot. He can finish at the rim. He dunks with the best of them. Man, he, he's a solid defender. Yep. Man, he does all pre- those intangible. He, he, yeah, he checking all the boxes. So if he just can get him a shooting coach and just really yep. just work on his shooting, bro. It don't matter how high you jump. You, we already know you can jump. We know you can dunk. You know you can do those things, man. Work on the things that you know you can't do, and your they don't shooting, come natural. yeah, your shooting mm-hmm. mechanics needs to get fixed. Uh, yeah. I ain't, I mean, I ain't saying go out here and be like uh, the dude that got drafted number 
Mikael, what was that dude name that got drafted number one? He never really did anything because Philly drafted him, and then they ended up trading him. He, he had a messed up shot. He played for Washington. Oh, oh man. man. I might look that dude up. He went number one in the draft, man. He was – he he might as well just – Last year? Just a, nah, a couple years ago, he was a bust. Oh. Uh, he he well, got drafted. That's, that, that's why I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to look this cat up. But it's, a, but it's a lot of cats like that, man. I mean, you think about it, and I tell people all the time, I say, you see how many cats got drafted this year? That many people lost their job, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think about that. It, 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 we know them first-round picks, they're going to sign a contract. Most of them going to have a roster spot. They're not going to be a two-way. So 30 people lost their job this year. At least that many, and so, hey man, it's it's hard to get a, a a a consistent game that you can have, you know, a contract. You know what I'm saying? That you can sign you a multi year deal. These rookie contracts, you know, they they try to put the little cap on them. Remember a few years back, quit giving yeah. them boys all that money, and and you ain't proved nothing. We're gonna sign you to this rookie deal, <laughs> yeah, because teams was taking a washing. Markel Flutes. I think that's how exactly. he's that. He's the guy who yeah. went number one over uh, the light-skinned guy that plays for Boston. Uh, he went number one right. to Philly, and he didn't play his first year. Uh, and it, They say he was hurt, but it was really that, that, that jumper was just trash. I think he actually mm. plays for Orlando. Uh, that's the last place I remember him being. Um, so I don't know if he still actually plays for them. Uh, but last year, dude averaged 14 points a game. Who he played for? Point guard, shooting guard. I gotta find out who he last year, 2023. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He played for Orlando last year. He still played for Orlando. Uh. Okay. He played two years in Philly. He played four years in Orlando, and last year he averaged 14 points a game. So he ain't just super trash. Um, he just ain't. He he just was not that uh, blue chip that they thought he was gonna be. Yeah, yeah. He ain't no number one. Um. So I wonder if they gonna you know go ahead and show him the door since AB coming. Um. So yeah, Markel Foot, whatever that fool name is, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man I don't even know why I was talking about him I'm so tired bro I ain't gonna lie forgive me Woo Pig I am not my normal self I am so tired <laughs> I'm still recovering man I got a lot going on right now <laughs> life is happening on. to OD right now yeah but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna complain about it I'm gonna still show up and, and I'm gonna do my thing on here on this podcast we're gonna talk about these halls one way or the other man one way or the other man so We've been going at it for about 30 minutes, man. Time flies when we talk about these hogs, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, you got anything you want to uh, add to them? I know we we, we missed the G-Home segment, man, but if you want to give it to them now, let's get it. Look here. I'm going to keep it short and simple. We appreciate everything y'all doing for us. Go like and subscribe, man. Just be a part of something that's going to be bigger than bigger than us you know what i'm saying so we appreciate it man and much love to y'all for just hanging in with your boys talking about them hogs and with that i said what i said and we out oh my god